Hey guys, found an interesting one down in Akiha Bar the other day. Found this kit where we actually build the speakers, not building the cabinets and just screwing speakers in. We're actually going to build the speakers or the drivers as they are, put them together, and um, then we got ourselves a set of stereo speakers. So they're a Fostex brand, a model P800. Now I couldn't find these on the actual website, but I did find what looks to be what these will end up being which is a P800K, which is on the um, on the website. They look to be the same, they're the same size, and I, I assume these are the equivalents of a P800K. So, we've got the instructions in the back there, and all the parts on the front. So what we'll do is I'll run through what each part is, what it's called, what it does, and then we'll put one together. And um, once we've got them together, we might even uh, give them a test and see what the Thiel small characteristics are. See if we can build a little enclosure for them. So I'll rip this thing open and we'll have a look at all the parts that we get. Right, so it seems the uh, instructions are all in Japanese, which I don't actually read, but we do have some good pictures, so I'm sure we can muddle our way through and um, we'll, um, we'll work our way through and see how we go. What I'll do first is I'll explain what each part actually does and what it's called and what it's used for. So we'll work from the backbone and that is the basket. And that is this piece here. So this is our ba basket and that's what holds everything together. The magnet screws are here, the cone glues in, We've got our speaker terminals here where our incoming wires connect and then from the other side will go to our coil. So that's the framework, that's what holds everything in one piece. Then we come to the coil former, coil and spider. So this piece here, this is the spider and that's what holds the coil in the middle of the magnet and also allows the movement. Then we've got the uh, coil former, which is this cardboard tube, and then the coil there, which is just some copper wire, just wrapped around. And then the leads are just here, some tinsel wire, it's kind of like uh, plaited wire or like woven sort of wire. So it's very flexible, but won't break or fatigue. Then of course we've got the magnet, and that's this piece here. You can see that hole there, that ring, that's where this this part here, the coil, that actually slips in there and when we put a AC waveform on there it interacts with the magnetic field and then moves in and out. And that there will screw onto the base of our if I can get it in the centre screw something like that in the centre of our uh, basket on the back side. Then the uh, coil will go on the top like that. So moving on we then have the part that actually produces a sound and that's called the cone because it's a cone shape that you can see there and then on the edge of the cone around here we've got a rubber piece and that's called the suspension and that's what allows the cone to move in and out so you imagine if we got this attached to our basket this obviously sits on top like that that allows the, uh, the cone to move up and down with a spider at the bottom we've got two points and that way it stops it from going like this because you've got two points of contact, it can only move up and down, it can't move laterally or sideways. So after that, then we have, looks like we've got a bit of foam here which will be used for damping material or something. And we've got what's called the dust cover, this little disc here. And that one, that goes into the center of our cone. Sometimes they're upside down so that it's like a concave, but sometimes they're put the other way around, just depends on the speaker, so it's convex. You probably often see it like that way. And what that does, that just stops dust and dirt and, you know, detritus from getting into the, uh, the coil, that small gap in here, and rubbing on the coil and cutting into the coil, because if you get any dirt in there, it's going to scrape, and it's going to ruin your, your driver. And then, apart from that, we've just got a few screws and uh, some glue. So the glue is what we're going to use to attach the spider around in here, and then the cone around the top, and the cone to the coil former. So, I'll uh, dig all these parts out, and uh, we'll start making one of them. Alright, first thing first, we're going to get a basket and attach it to our magnet. So, we'll peel this off and get some of our screws and then screw that together and that has to go in so it locates just like that
Now because I don't want this to come apart, I'm going to use a bit of just low strength Loctite. Just a little drop on each screw so it doesn't vibrate loose. Make sure it's nice and tight. And that's the basket attached to a magnet. Now we've got some of this capped on tape here. And what that's used for, that's as a spacer. So we roll that up and we put it inside the former. So when that goes inside the magnet, it perfectly centers it. Otherwise it's going to be offset slightly and it's going to scrape. So according to the instructions, we have to flatten one side or one of each side. So if I get my ruler, we want three millimeters about on each side. I'll move these out of the way which is probably about like that. So you just put a crease there and a crease there, and that will roll up and sit in there nicely. So all you have to do is feed the Kaplan tape into the coil former, just like that. So you can see that there is inside. And now we put this into here. Just like that. Make sure your wires are facing towards the uh, speaker terminals and that's perfectly centered. And that's what it looks like there with the spider installed. So I'm just test fitting it so I'm going to pull that out again and underneath the spider we're going to put a ring of glue around here and then we're going to put that back in and that can be pushed down with, the, um, with like a toothpick or something just to make sure it glues in. Make sure we keep those rotated like that. We've got a tube of bond here that's not James but it is glue, so that's what the Japanese call glue, bond. So we put the glue around the inside circumference there, and then we'll put that, uh, we'll put that spider back in. That is if this glue hasn't gone bad. Oh, there we go. There's a glue in there, now we stick this in. Looking good. Alright, so what we have to do now is join these wires to our speaker terminal. So what we have to do is put a pencil through here and that will hold the wires up while we solder them so they don't loop down onto the spider, they stay up out of the way. And there we go, all soldered up. So next step is to install the cone. So all we have to do is put a bead of glue around the top, put the cone in, then we can put a bead of glue around the bottom. Once that's set, we can pull our, um, our spacer out here. And then we can put a little bit more glue and put our cap on. 
Once that's done, we're pretty much finished. So let's put our glue around the top. just like that and we can drop our cone in Awesome. Now we can put our glue around the center here. Now we have those glued up. We'll pull out that center former. looking pretty good and now we can stick that dust cap in Just like that, look at that, looking pretty good. So that's how we make a speaker driver, not bad at all. Pretty simple, you just glue a few parts together, it's just a matter of lining everything up properly. So I'll let the glue dry for a few days and then once it's fully set up we'll give it a test, see what the Theo small characteristics are, see if they come close to the uh, P800K on the website, the commercial built version. Um, I've got another one to build, so we'll do a stereo pair and we'll give them a test and see how they sound. There we are, all done. Went together quite well. We've got the left and the right, or the up and the down, or whatever you want them to be. Seem to work all right. So hang around, because we'll cut the video there. It's getting a little bit long. We'll um, make a second video where we test the electrical characteristics of these things. See how they perform. So don't forget, we got that Patreon. Check it out if you feel like it. If not... Just hang around and wait for the second episode. Alright guys, we'll see you next time.